All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show to talk about some NBA news. So, first thing I'll talk about here is from Persham's Tarania. Jalen Brown of the Boston Celtics is seriously considering joining the dunk contest. If he has a left hand, if he does a left hand dunk, handed dunk, I'll give him a fifty. Only right handed dunks, left hand won't work because he don't got a left hand. He has bunnies, like he can, he he's athletic. It's just I don't know if he'll win the dunk contest though. <laughs> but let's just get back to the. But it's a star player, you know, participating in a all star event. Let's get back to these all star players, like in these events. So, the Raptors, uh, remember we talked about Chris Boucher, where the Raptors were trying to, you know, next player they could trade was him, while the Raptors, they're currently trying to find a landing spot for Chris Boucher, per at Smith Raps, um, this guy covers the Raptors, he's covering for two decades, I feel like the Celtics could go get Chris Boucher, will they, will, I don't know. Celtics will have to give up Al to match salary. I don't think the Celtics would do that. I don't think they can afford him. Where would Chris Boucher go, though? I, I thought the Celtics, but now you think about the salary. They have to match salaries. I don't think they want to trade Al Horford. But hopefully wherever he goes, he can get more playing time. Because I think he's a, he can be a good player. Maybe the Dallas Mavericks. Just trying to throw out some ideas, because I don't think the Celtics will, would want to trade Al Horford for Chris Boucher. Knowing them. We'll see. We'll see what the Raptors decide to do. So the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets, we have some news about them. The Nets are not interested in a late first round pick, nor a pick from the 2024 draft. As part of any deal to trade away Dorian Finney-Smith, per at Mike A. Scott. This is the worst front office in sports. The Nets front office could have had seven first round picks from Mikael, from Mikael Bridges and Dorian Finney-Smith, but they choose to be a yearly playing team instead. Like, oh yeah, it's late first round picks. I mean, I get it, but for Dorian Finney-Smith and Mikael Bridges, come on, you take those picks. Like, this man ain't no all-star player or anything. He's just a good role player, and the Nets are treating him like he's worth multiple first round picks. A late first round pick is exactly what it maybe what he's is exactly maybe what he's worth. Maybe a late first round pick at best to trade for. This front office is stupid. I don't. They don't know what they're doing. I swear. Like the only thing you'll get is a late first round pick for Dorian Finney Smith at best. If it's me, take I'd take the deal. But whatever. So the Chicago Bulls, they've reportedly reached out to Houston to inquire whether they would be interested in a deal for Zach Levine that would center around Jalen Green, per at Jake L. Fisher. Jesus Christ. The Bulls front office, when they, this is the Bulls, when they hear Zach Levine's little, little trade there, they like, they're like, la 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 la. They're probably like that. Be like, oh, it's like Eric Teams are saying he doesn't have a trade value to lower the price. Yeah, he's out for the year and getting forty million. Don't think many teams are gonna want that. What? And you know it's bad when you're looking to trade for Jalen Green. It'd be, ooh. People be like, oh yeah, but look, he's averaging eighteen four and three a game. He's bottom twenty percent of qualifying players. And assist to turnover ratio and field goal effective field goal percentage. Like people, people will just omit efficiency for a reason. Like one of the most disgust, disgustingly toxic ta toxic team players. I swear, Jalen Green is so inefficient. I, that's what people are like. Oh, 18 points per game. Yeah, look at his efficiency, and then come back and tell me he's a good player. So Gabe Vincent. Is expected to be out for one more month per at Jake L. Fisher. Lakers guard Gabe Vincent, who's become included in Los Angeles' um, outgoing trade conversation, sources said, appears on track to return by early March. Vincent uh, underwent arthros arthroscopic uh, 
surgery on his left knee during the final days of December, and he, he was given an eight to ten week uh, recovery period, and has so far been recu recu recuperating on schedule. Sources say. Period. End quote. This has been an awful sighting for the Lakers. And yeah, you can't predict injuries like that, but like still, it's turned out not not to be a good signing. Like he was good for the Heat, but he hasn't been good for the Lakers, and he's been injured. And well, maybe he could be good when he comes back from injury, but like, really, he really sold his soul for that final run. You can count when teams get role players from the Heat and their shit on their team. So Nikola Vucevic, he talked about the Bulls. Could they? Rebuild, pretty much have a breakup. Nikola, o or Nikola Vucevic doesn't want to see the Bulls break up. End quote. I believe we have enough. Yeah, enough to lose in the play-in tournament every year, Mr. Uh, Vucevic. Maybe to the NBA lottery. At best. Uh, like, who's going to tell, bro? It's over. Like, your, your team's not good, buddy. Brian Scalabrini thinks the Warriors should trade Chris Paul to the Magic for Jonathan Isaac. Posting what Brian Scalabrini thinks of re we've reached new lows in sports. Magic declined the offer immediately. Why would they trade a, a top defense player they have for, th for a 38-year-old point guard? The Magic say no immediately. They're probably like, shut up, bitch, and they hang up the phone. They ain't trading for no Chris Paul. So the Dallas Mavericks and Milwaukee Bucks have discussed a Grant Williams Bobby Portis swap per at the Stein line. The Bucks and Mavericks leaked sources say have held exploratory discussions on a trade that would swap Milwaukee's Bobby Portis Jr. and Dallas newcomer Grant Williams, period and quote. The Bucks would become worse. I, I felt the Mavs would even win that. Would even win that trade. Because they get rid of Williams' contract. The Bucks would lose that trade. Getting fucking Grant Williams. The Mavs would win immediately getting rid of his contract. PJ Tucker, Perry Report, quote, actively looking to get traded. Bro, just chill on the bench and collect your ring. Sadly, no teams are active, actively looking to trade for him. Bill Simmons fantasizes about LeBron James' trade to the Warriors for Jonathan Kaminga and Clay Thompson. We're not giving up Kaminga, buddy. He's also a Celtics fan. Can't trust what this fucking guy says. Per report, the Lakers are bracing for Jared Vanderbilt to miss the rest of the season. And they're going to be missing one of their best defenders. They're going to be missing one of their best defenders for the rest of the season. And they weren't really going to do much this year anyways. The Lakers have checked in on Danilio Gallinari. Danilio Gallinari. What are they doing? The Boston Celtics are showing interest in Kelly Olenek, DeLon Wright, and Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond could be an option for the Celtics. You know, you can have a backup center. They can have off the bench. They can rebound really well. That would be a good trade for the Celtics if they could get out there and get him. Kelly Olenek's a good scorer. I could see that. The Memphis Grizzlies are showing interest in Killian Hayes, per at Mike A. Scotto. Man, the Grizzlies are about to score. They're... They're about to score like 60 points per game, I swear. The Lakers won't pursue trading for a third max player unless he is an all-NBA caliber player per Bobby Marks 42. The Lakers don't want to trade for bad players on big contracts. Wow. But the Lakers think they can get anybody right now. They don't even have the assets for it. Like, come on. LeBron James was using the Knicks to put pressure on the Lakers. He was um, basically aware that he was putting a towel that said New York Knicks. Why would he mess with the Knicks? Because he was using the Knicks as a tool to pressure the Lakers. Maybe he trade that allowed to post ghost stories and conspiracy theories. So much stupid NBA drama, I swear. The Minnesota Timberwolves are showing interest in Monte Morris. They should just go and get Tyus Jones, like, because he's a good backup guard. They could use. The Dallas Mavericks are searching the trade market for a tall four with two-way ability and solid spot-up shooting. Per at Tim Cato. Man, the entire NBA is searching for this tall four. I mean, 
We'll see what the Mavericks can trade for. I mean, they have that tall for it. Maybe a Christian Wood type player? I don't know. The Chicago Bulls are seeking a, quote, OG and an Obi type deal in exchange for Alex Caruso. I love Alex Caruso. I think he's a good player, man, but good luck with that. I don't think people are going to trade a lot of draft picks. I mean, he's making like nine million. He's underpaid, but he's a tremendous player, but come on. So the Detroit Pistons were interested in Tobias Harris, Perrett J. J. L. Edwards the third. Tobias seeing this is probably like, mm mm. I'm saying on the Sixers, one of the top teams in the East. And I'm pretty familiar with trauma based interviewing. Of course. Report. So the Suns they reportedly tried to trade for OG Ananobi or Pascal Siaka before a Kevin Durant deal, but they decided to go with K D. Which is pretty interesting. May have thought about a lot already. So it's really have to say for this video, so until next time, I'll like, uh, peace. Yes.